Hi, my name is Greg Hudson. I'm the president and CEO of the Dallas Zoo, and the wait is finally over, and we're ready to welcome visitors safely back to the Dallas Zoo. We've been carefully planning the reopening process ever since we closed in mid-March. We've worked closely with local and state officials, as well as industry health and safety experts, building a detailed plan to ensure the safety of our guests, staff, and our animals. Prior to your visit, all zoo guests, including Dallas Zoo members, will be required to go to DallasZoo.com to reserve tickets for everyone in your party and to select a specific entry time slot. This is where you'll purchase parking passes too. Moving the ticketing process online will help us limit person-to-person -person transactions and manage the number of guests we have in the zoo at a given time. All Dallas Zoo staff members will be wearing protective face coverings over their nose and mouth during their shifts, and we strongly recommend that all guests over the age of two do the same. As per City of Dallas policy, protective face coverings will be required for all guests over the age of two when entering any buildings, including restrooms, it's important to remember, the purpose of coverings is to protect others in the event that you have been exposed to the virus and are not showing symptoms. Once inside the zoo, you'll see signs and park ambassadors reminding guests to be considerate of others by following social distancing guidelines and other safety measures. Additionally, we place more than 65 hand sanitizing stations throughout the park, and staff members will be regularly cleaning high-touch areas like handrails, viewing glass, and door handles. We've designated a recommended path to help control traffic flow, and a few areas will be limited to one-way foot traffic for proper social distancing. All of our indoor areas are temporarily closed, except for restrooms, and some of our attractions, including the Adventure Safari Monorail, will be closed for now, but you can still enjoy our Wonders of the Wild Wildlife Show, and you can meet some amazing animals up close at the Wild Encounter stage and during Keeper Chats. For now, the indoor restaurants will remain closed, but outdoor walk-up food options like the Bantu Barbecue will be open along with snack stations around the zoo. You're welcome to bring your own food and drinks if you'd like, just no glass items, alcohol, or disposable straws. As we progress towards returning to a more normal state, some of these policies will change, so please make sure to visit dallasu.com backslash reopen for the most up-to-date information about what to expect during your visit. Since we've closed, a lot has happened here at the Dallas Zoo. Katie gave birth to a healthy male giraffe calf who's named Kendi. Male lion Kajani joined us from the Fresno Chaffee Zoo, and Hartman's Mountain Zebra Wanda joined us from the B. Bryan Preserve. Come say hi to all these new additions, plus our other animals you know and love. We're anxious to see everybody back out at the zoo, and we want everybody to know we're here, ready, whenever you need us. Please let us know if there's anything we can do, and I'll see you back out here at the zoo real soon.